Our family's out here planting carrots this morning. There are 600 carrots in this little package and it's only gonna take up this little area. That's a lot of bang for your buck. Can you imagine if all these carrots came up, we would turn orange. And one of the coolest part is, this only took us a few minutes. Okay, you see that area? That's where we're gonna plant carrots. See, we can't plant carrots in, in soil blocks, so we gotta start them directly in the soil. The only problem was the chicken was there, and so we moved the fence over, so then now we can plant in there and the chickens can't get at it. But I gotta move this big, huge rock, cement thing, whatever this is, out of the way. Look, Minnie had been laying down here in the corner. Isn't that cool? Found her little stash of duck eggs. I kept the main flock up until I moved the fence. I didn't want anybody getting out when I opened it up. So they're ready to get out. But first I gotta feed them. all these duck eggs. And while we're at it, let's get some chicken eggs. Okay, I'm ready to do this job. Soil amendment, check. Rake, check. Carrots, check. Chiddler and mama check, nowhere to be found. Let's go get them. He's sound asleep. What'd everybody do? Come crawl into my bed when you guys woke up? Huh? Mm -hmm. Or are they just puffy pillows? Try it, mom. Oh, let me see. Let me see if it's a body pillow. Ooh, oh, yeah, oh, nice oh, body pillow. Now, wait a minute, that pillow's moving. Ah, there's a foot. <laughs> This one looks like, like he needs kisses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there's another body pillow over there. Oh, let me see. And that's at my spot. Maybe, Justin, did you buy me a body pillow? I have, no. That's nice. Oh, oh, oh. It's moving. <laughs> you think that's funny, Mr. Brown? <gasps> <laughs> let me see this crazy haired body pillow. <laughs> Okay guys, let's go. Let's go plant some carrots. I saved it for you guys. Yeah. I know you love carrots and I know you want to be a part of it. All right, we got mama out here helping us. She's gonna rake the mulch out of the way so we can amend the soil and plant the carrots and then we'll put some of the mulch back. Okay. Yeah, we keep on going all the way. Keep it going, keep going, keep going. Good, let's, let's, do, let's plant as much as we've got here. Are you gonna help us this morning, Mr. Brown? There's no water around to spray. Now, Mom, you know how to do it. You're the expert. Amend the soil. You have a believer in me now. Okay. Now, do you rake it in or anything? Yeah. Okay, one for you, buddy. And one for you. All right, follow your mom's lead, Josiah. You watching them, buddy? You watching them? What do you think? You'd probably love to get a hold of that, wouldn't you? What? What are you pointing at? 
<gasps> you want to help plant seeds here in a minute? Uh, I think you can probably help plant seeds. Uh, yeah. Yes. So Beauty just asked me, how are we going to keep the weeds suppressed in this area? And that's a good question because you remember down there where we planted carrots. We'll go see that in a minute because we're going to go harvest some carrots when we're done. The weeds took over and the carrots didn't do that great. Well, here's our idea here. Well, first of all, we've amended this soil, so they're going to do a little bit better. The weeds are more suppressed here because the dinos have been here longer. And third, we got a, we got a secret weapon down here. We raked, we raked the mulch to the side. But after we plant the carrots, we're going to rake it back over it to be a, a bit of a weed barrier and some shade and some moisture for the carrots. And so hopefully those will do better. Okay, and then plant it an inch apart. An inch is about this much. Two fingers, okay? Two of your little fingers. Okay, Lily? You start down here. Plant into that furrow, okay? Mr. Brown needed his little love tank filled. It's a shallow tank at this age, right, Mom? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. And it needs filled quite often. So, he and Mama are going to walk around in the chickens. Hey, while you're in there, spread out the amendments for this garden, and we'll let the chickens work that into the soil over the next couple of weeks. There you go, Jonah. There's you some seeds planted in there. Do you see the furrows? Are you done, Mom? Yep. Looks like it snowed out here. Yeah. <laughs> but you just amended the soil. Hey, remind the folks what's in your little special concoction. Lime, gypsum, and blood meal. Yeah. And I think the soil is the same consistency as it was up in the kitchen garden. Yeah. So I think this is going to do good. Mr. Brown, you having fun in here? <laughs> okay, so now we don't have to turn this in, the chickens will do it for us. That's the thing with chickens, you just got to give them enough time to do their work. They're not as quite as quick as us, right. but if you just time it right, we don't have to do as much because the chickens will happily do it. <laughs> give me one second, I'm going to break this mulch back over this to keep this well hydrated, keep the seeds protected, and help keep the weeds down. And I'm here to supervise. <laughs> How am I doing, Supervisor? You do, you're doing good. We were on our way to pick some carrots that we planted in the spring, and as we were walking by this garden, we spotted some zucchini, so we're gonna get those. Oh, all right, perfect. Look at it. That's, that's really big. Jonah got the other one. One, two, three. He says you gotta harvest it with a potato fork. Let me see this. Just loosen up the soil there, I guess, so you can Pull it up without breaking the stems. Thanks. You I know, in the commercial them. raised carrots, they breathe them for toughness of the stem so they can be harvested by machine. So they don't necessarily select for taste. You got a little uh, gourmet carrot there. That's right. <laughs> now that one's good enough for a wow, snack. Josiah. Whoa, Josiah. You hit the jackpot. Good job, buddy. It tastes very good. Check this carrot out. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of carrots, Josiah. That's a few snacks for you guys. Okay, guys, here. I'll create a uh, a place for you to step over. Thanks, Justin. Yep. Can you step over that, Lily, without stepping on it? Yeah. I got these. What are you gonna make with that zucchini? Chicken Alfredo with zucchini noodles. You gonna do a show on that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that for Okay, the I'll link to it. Okay. Carrot break. How's it, buddy? Good. You like it? I see that you like it. You're almost done with your first one. And what about you? Do you like it? Do you want carrots? I see you took a big bite out of the side. <laughs> you don't like it too much? That's okay. You want it? You want Jonas? Okay. What's your favorite vegetable? Peppers. What's your favorite vegetable? Well, uh, Guys, we got him a coconut yesterday out when we were about on our errands. This is the first time drinking out of a coconut. Okay, Jonah, take a sip. Then Josiah. And then me. Then Lily. So what we did is we just drilled a hole <laughs> through it and ran a, a, a straw in there. And then we'll just bust it open with a hammer to get the flesh out.
We've had coconut before and it tastes so good. Mm. Is it rotten popcorn? Okay, here you go. It's really oh. smushy. Oh, that's how it is. Go for it. It tastes good. Is it good? You don't like it, bird? Okay. You don't like it either? What's the matter? It's a little bit slimy and uh, it's not like, it doesn't have that firm. Oh. It's a little mushy. Oh. I'm not going to eat this. No, see, it's like, uh, it's not firm. Like the coconut we're used to. I wonder if it's like a young coconut. Probably. Or something. Checking out the label, found out it's tender coconut meat. I went to the website to see what kind of coconut this was, and it is a young coconut. So that's why the coconut meat inside the coconut is a little bit flexible. The trash guy's here. Trash guy. Oh, you want to go outside? Okay. Let's go outside. Say bye, Gideon.